If you want to follow along inside Unreal, then go to the link below, hit free preview, and then you can create an account and download the Unreal Engine project files. You'll also get access to the first section, your first time on a virtual film set. The next department we're going to look at is the production design department. Now in Unreal, a production designer is responsible for how the world looks through the camera lens. So if we go over here, we can see our actor sitting on a couch, surrounded by some pillows. What might not immediately be obvious is all of these assets around our character are actually what's called a static mesh. So this is an object that, that is being brought into the engine that someone's designed. With each object comes a material, which defines how that object looks. So if we look at this book, for example, let's select it. And then on the right over here, you'll see in the details panel, it gets filled out according to the book. So over here, it's technically just a static mesh, but it's been assigned this book mesh. And then below that, it has the materials assigned to it of the book. So we're gonna go briefly and see what a static mesh is. So to do that, let's double click over on this little square over here next to SMBook02. And you'll get this pop-up. Now this is the static mesh editor. We don't need to dive into this right now, but we can just appreciate that this book has been designed by someone and has these associated materials to define how it looks. Let's have a look at another object in the scene. If we look at our preview, we've got this pillow down the bottom right. It's currently white. Let's go over to it, select it, and you'll see it's got the same setup as the book. It's a static mesh, and it's been assigned the pillow. Now down here below, it's got a different material. So it's got the gray pat fabric. So let's double click on that, and you get a different editor. Now this is this is the material instance editor. But what it allows you to do is preview what this material looks like on different surfaces. Just to give you an idea of what really makes up the material. Now, oftentimes materials are made for certain objects. So for our book before, the material had certain textures on it that made sure the writing on the book was in the right place, facing the right direction. Whereas for this fabric, it's actually a tiling grid so this material will work on any surface. In our scene, we saw it on the pillow. Here we see it on a sphere. And down the bottom right, we can even change to see it on some other preview meshes. So here's a cylinder. Here's a flat plane. And here's a cube. You could even go in and select custom meshes like the pillow if you just want to see the material on that. Let's go back to the sphere for now. Okay, so now we wanna change this material to be a green color. So luckily for us, someone has gone in and they've set up a whole bunch of parameters. Now we'll go into this kind of stuff in detail later, but for now, just know that the base color tint, which is already ticked, we can go in and change to be something like green or any color you want. Click okay. And when we close this and go back to our scene, our pillows are now both green. Now a good way to work is actually to open this up and have this material instance window off to the side somewhere so you can see your scene and make the changes at the same time. So with that open, I can see my preview window down here and the main scene here, and I can go in and change that pillow to be any color I want it to be. That's how material instances allow us to really quickly change the entire look of our scene. Now I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna reset this back to, and I'm gonna change this back to white. So we've learned a little bit about meshes and a little bit about materials. Let's have a quick talk about how to move an object around a scene or lay out a scene. For this pillow, we can move it around and manipulate it in various ways. If you've watched the primer course, you already have a pretty good idea of how that works, but we're gonna go over it again. 
if I have an object selected and I press W, I then get this transform gizmo. So it's got three directions, X for red, Y for green, and blue for Z. Don't worry about memorizing them or anything yet. I can click on any of these arrows to move the object in that direction. If I was to click E on my keyboard, it changes the gizmo to look like this. So this is the rotation gizmo. So this lets me rotate the object in any direction. And if I was to click R, I would then be able to scale the object to make it smaller or larger. Now you might find that your object is snapping, something like this. I'll turn on snapping up here and I'll try and move it and the, it kind of clunks along. Same with the rotation and the scale. It goes up in increments. So to control that, you want to go up the top right of your viewport and where these icons are blue and highlighted, you just want to disable the snapping on the grid, the rotational snapping and the scale snapping. Now these can be useful, especially when you're first laying out a scene but they can also get annoying. So remember these buttons enable and disable the snapping. You can also change the increments they snap to by clicking on the numbers next to each of them. Okay, so I've scaled up my pillow a bit. Looks a bit comfier. I'm just gonna move it down over here. Let's say I'm happy with that. Okay, and now I actually, I've decided I want another pillow. So I could go in, we could use our content drawer, which we've talked about in the primer course by clicking control space. And I could go and try and find it in here under meshes and scroll through, try and find my pillow. Oh, there's some pillows here. I don't even know which one it is. So this is pillow one. So I could drag this one in to the scene here. It doesn't even have a material set up. I would have to go in and come back here. What's this material? Gray pat fabric. I'd go over here. I could change the material here. Gray pat fabric. You can see how this could get pretty annoying and time consuming. So let's not do that way. I have an object here. I just want a copy of that object. So I'm gonna make sure I select it. I've hit W, so I've got these arrows showing up. Then I'm going to hold Alt and then left click one of these arrows and drag it out. And that's just going to create a copy for me and automatically move it in that direction that I dragged. So I'm going to scale this down. And you know what? I'm going to add another pillow. I'm just going to hold Alt and drag it out again. Change its rotation a bit. There we go. So we've really quickly gone over what a static mesh is, what a material is, and how to move and manipulate objects in our scene, as well as duplicate them to quickly populate a scene. If you found that helpful, let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out the other three videos in this section, you can find them on unrealfilm.academy. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button and be notified when they're uploaded here on YouTube.